Um, we had a very exciting session. Um, it was all happening at multiple levels, um, which was, it was co-production and action, which was really exciting to see. Um, so Jenny and a patient and, and Ryan Bellison and Jez Hall really um, held it all together. It was, it was very exciting on a very important topic. And one personally I'm not that familiar with, obviously climate change, but the methodology, it was, it was great. So the focus was on climate change context in the UK. Um, and, um, and also, um, but it has wider learnings, I think, um, for us all and utilize the method of co-production in action in a very inclusive way. So that started off with interviews with um, climate activists Heather and Mark from the Sheffield Council. And uh, that helped us set the context of, of um, around climate change action, what is a climate change emergency, um, which, which was very helpful in terms of, of information. Um, and then it moved into a more climate into a more co-production space with, uh, with Jez Hall um, and took that understanding of the climate emergency into how to take action and actually put a method um, of uh, citizen um, assemblies and citizen juries into, into place. So we had a mini start off of the process of setting up a, a citizen assembly and, and Jez actually took us through the, the different points which was very useful. I won't go into those steps now, but, they, but I can uh, sort of document them. They were very useful. So we were reflecting on the process itself, the methods and tools, and the co-production process. Um, and for me, it was very, as observing, was it, was, it, it brought to the fore um, using a scenario approach of Brentfield slash Sheffield, um, a, a process to, to unpack the wicked problems. Um, there was an engagement around who, who are the stakeholders, the roles involved, the boundaries, the questions that we need to answer, and the question that has to be focused on. Um, so some of the, the takeaways that climate change evidence is clear. I think Mark reflected on the scale and impact around the decarbonization um, of 14% per annum. That's, that's quite scary. Um, and the scale and impact is huge, and we all need to, to, it's a call to action. And I think it was very clear around the usefulness of citizen um, juries and citizen um, assemblies as, a, as a, a method of quick production, because we saw that in place. Um, I was also very touched by, right there, you could see the focus, because there was different role playing, the focus, the care, um, an act of learning and listening from both of us as observers and, and others participating. So for me, this is a very powerful method. And um, questions of um, how open that the question must be, the language we use, quite a lot of discussion around language. Um, trust, I think some of those are the themes that have come up. Some of the um, critical questions were just my last reflections were, as we then opened up at the end to reflections from the other cities, was um, who takes the action, what do we do? There was a debate around who takes action around um, climate change and what do we do when? Is it the council, is it citizens? So I think some of the bigger picture questions. Um, for me, there was learning of from stakeholders and citizen engagement process when and how, and then how to use the power of the process and people and citizen juries and, uh, and communities, how do we bring them in? Because we saw that experts in the room, um, people who maybe had, had limited exposure to climate change, others very powerful production in, in an hour. So I think that that is um, a huge uh, a plus. And then there was also the um, non-ideology uh, or the ideology debate, um, whereby opening it up to co-production and other processes are we actually debating around democracy? How, how complex is that going to be? Great, thank you.